Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my 2023 tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create multi-layered waterfall animation with the help of Bifrost Fluid. Our final result will be just like this one or this one. So let's get started. Take a polygon cube. Type white 8. Depth type 10. Go to top view. Go to mesh tool. Insert as loop. Insert one as loop here. One here. And another here. Go to face selection mode. Select this face. Click extrude and extrude the face as shown go to object mode now take another polygon cube hide the first one type y 25 and depth also 25 again go to top view mesh tool insert as loop insert one as loop here one here one here and the last one here again go to face selection mode select this face click extrude and extrude them as shown now go to object mode unhide the first one take a polygon cylinder Rotate the cylinder 90 degree along Z axis. Move the cylinder up. Subdivision caps make it zero. And scale the cylinder as shown. Now select this one also. Move them up here. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it and rotate it minus 180 degree along Y axis. Move this one slightly down as shown. Turn on wireframe on shaded mode. Select this one, press Ctrl plus D to duplicate and move this one here. Now select this one, go to mesh tool, open insert edge loop option, select multiple edge loop, number of edge type here 40 and click here. Now change modeling menu to FX menu, go to Bifrost, click liquid, point size type here 1.5. Maximum particle display count increase to zero here. Select the cylinder, press shift plus T to assign new material, select blin. Increase the transparency. Now select the Bifrost emitter props one. Click continuous emission. Increase the frame to 250. First select the liquid. Shift select this one, this one and also this one. And finally this one. Go to Bifrost Fluid. Click Collider. Now click play and see the effect. In this process, you can create multi-layered waterfall animation in Maya 2023. Now pause, go to Arnold, light, take a sky dome light. Again go to Arnold, open Arnold render view. Click refresh render and see the effect. 